Many times I've heard people say, oh, well, we're giving them access to the world. You're actually allowing the world to access your child. Seven years ago, my son Jordan at the time was in the middle of ninth grade. There was a, a dare, a challenge over social media. Somebody was encouraged to see if they could knock somebody out with one punch. And a boy from another school walked up behind Jordan and struck him in the head to see if they could knock him out. Jordan fell forward, cracked his skull on the ground, and he suffered a traumatic brain injury. That is not the reason we started this mission. The reason we started this was this encouragement came all over social media. There was one individual who knew when it was going to happen, who was encouraging the person to do it. And then they stood there with their phone in hand and recorded everything. They didn't warn my son. They didn't do anything to help end it. Rather, they stood there, they filmed it. And of course, once they finished filming it, they snapped it to everybody. It went up to social media. What he had said is, it's like he's reliving that over and over and over again. It's like he keeps getting punched. The more people view it, the more they're participating in it, even though they don't realize that. You might not even know who the person is, but by watching that video, each click, each view, that affects the person in the video. I didn't realize that. As an adult, I didn't realize the damage that they were suffering by being the victim in the video.